guys, welcome back. Today I'm in my car, as you can see. I'm headed over to pick up a huge Walmart order. So I will be sharing a haul with you at the end of this video. It's so crazy busy that I haven't been able to keep up with my two week meal plans and shopping that I normally would do. So I'm behind on things. I'm out of shredded cheese. I'm out of all of my pizza ingredients in tomorrow night's pizza night. I just got several things that I have um, run low on just from not replenishing my, my uh, short-term pantry. So I needed to get some things that I was out of, but also, and this is the main thing I want to share with all of you, there is rumored to be a railroad strike starting tomorrow, I believe, for they said Friday. Someone called me and said, have you heard about the railway strike coming up Friday? And I, I said, well, no. So I Googled. This person said, well, I think it's a pretty big thing because everyone at work is talking about it. So that's okay. If people are talking about it, I need to check this out. That's going to affect our supply chain in a huge way. I'm sorry I'm talking funny. My throat is just, I'm not sick or anything, but <coughs> I keep i keep getting yeah, I I don't know if it's going to be a huge thing. Um, I did some research, I read some articles, and I made my decision to go into my prepper pantry and check out my shelves and take some notes of what I felt like I needed to, to stock up on a little bit better. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a Walmart pickup order, driving 30 minutes to pick up my stuff because my left knee is in such bad shape that I, I don't feel like I could go to my Walmart, my local Walmart, and walk through the store and do my own shopping. I'm just in terrible pain. If I, if I walk on it very much at all, it's very painful. So I got checked my email this morning, and yeah, I already have 14 substitutions in my order. And it is a large order. I've just never had this to deal with in the United States. You know, you order something and it, you can't get it, really, seriously. Yeah, when I can't get things, just normal, everyday car a can of carrots or sugar, I do get concerned. It's just a good time to take stock of your pantry, make lists, get that notebook out, guys, make your lists, and do what your budget will let you do. And I will get off here for now and see you at home with my haul and yeah so i will talk to you all later bye okay guys i made it home and here's our haul for today it's a table full of stuff and that's a dr pepper all right i'm just going to jump right in i did not have room on my table and my knee was not able i have two cases of drinking water, two things of Gold Peak sweet tea, and two things of orange Gatorade, as well as a big package of toilet paper still in my car. I did take a picture so you could see that. So this is a, a big haul today. I was very pleased with my produce. I got a bag of onions. I could not write the price on them, but they were $3 and something. I got five pounds of carrots and they're nice and firm and they look so fresh. My celery also looks very nice. No brown, it's dark green, looks, it, it just looks really nice. The five pounds of carrots, I paid $3.88 for those. My celery, I paid, oh, there we go, $2.36 for celery. I got a package of um, breaded chicken patties, chicken breast patties. I thought that might be nice to have for lunches. It was $5.74. I also got a package of fully cooked sausage patties. I like to have those to make our breakfast sandwiches. But here's the thing, guys. I paid $8.36. I thought it was the big family size bag, and it's not. It's just a regular size bag. And wow, prices do go up, you know. Oatmeal cream pies were $4.48. Uh, Totino pizza. Um, 
Let me see, there's four pizzas in here and the price was $6.62. All right, I was completely out of my shredded cheeses, which is a crisis around here because I make casseroles and tacos and pizza and all kinds of stuff that needs all the cheese. So I got a 32, ba 32 ounce bag of great value mild cheddar for $7.48 and that is eight cups. I also got two pounds or eight cups of mozzarella for pizza night, $7.48 and a Fiesta blend. Again, it's two pounds or eight cups for $7.48. I will be so glad to have cheese in my freezer again because I was out. Pepperoni, $2.58. Oscar Mayer Wieners, $2.48. A pound of, next, not even a pound, it's 12 ounces of Great Value Bacon for $3.72. Mushrooms, $2.08. Jalapeno peppers, 67 cents. I don't know if you can read that. Yes, 67 cents. And I will use what I need, and then I will dehydrate the rest. They're very nice looking peppers. Okay, eggs. I got two packages of 18 eggs in each package for $6.23. And my diced ham, I'm looking carefully for the price on here. I'm not seeing the price on my ham. I thought I wrote it on there. Hmm. Okay. I think it was five or six dollars. But I use this, it's little ham diced up. It's I use it in omelets, I use it to season beans, I use it on pizza. We've been putting ham on our pizzas. Okay, I got six things of turkey gravy mix for 64 cents a pouch. I got four of these. Mashed potatoes, four cheese complete potatoes for 78 cents a pack. I got three bags of frozen corn for 84 cents a bag. They're just the little bags. Two pounds of butter and each pound was $3.98. I got four boxes and I intended to get chicken stuffing but they didn't have any so they substituted turkey and it was 88 cents a box. That will go in my prepper pantry. Two boxes of salt for $1.26 each. That's just replacing what I've used. Six boxes of au gratin potatoes, great value brand for 98 cents, also prepper pantry. Two boxes of honey graham crackers, great value brand, $1.84. I remember when those were like 89 cents. Oh my word. Excedrin for $11.92. That is so expensive, but I'm in pain right now with my knee, so I have to do what I have to do. Nutty Buddies are, I got the big pack for $4.48. I had ordered 10 pounds of sugar, a 10 pound bag, and I did not have it. They substituted three four pound bags, and each bag was $2.04. I've got another bag on the other side of the table. Moving on around, I think I'm gonna sit down for just a minute. My leg is just, Oh, this knee is terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, our favorite barbecue sauce. I got three of those at $3.98 each. And I know that's high, but it's your favorite, so it's your favorite, right? You, there's certain things you just have to have. I got six cans of Great Value Whole New Potatoes. And each can doesn't have a price on it. Uh, it's less than a dollar for a can. I do know that. I also got four cans of great value brown sugar honey baked beans, and these were a dollar twelve a can. I got four, no, I got six cans of great value green beans, the cut green beans, and they were 58 cents a can. I I don't like the pop tops. They're very convenient in the moment, but for storage, you have to be careful about stacking things on top of the pop tops. So, okay, as far as spices this time, I got crushed red pepper, 
$1.34, great value brand. And here's my candy prepping. I This time I got two packages of cinnamon, hard candy, cinnamon flavor. Each package was 98 cents. All right, I got five cans of Margaret Holmes seasoned butter beans. They are our favorite. $1.42 a can. And I forgot to mention on these, the expiration is to the year 2025, so that's pretty good. I don't remember what the other expirations were, but they were all pretty decent today. All right, great value brand, refried beans. I got six cans, and they were 92 cents a can. Rotel tomatoes, I was completely out. So I got six cans of those, and that was $1.24 a can. All right, I also got two packages of the cookies. $1.62 a package. I got mustard for a dollar, 20 ounces for a dollar. <throat> Here's our dairy products. I got a two pack of cream cheese for $3.18. Um, 24 ounces of cottage cheese for $2.58. Two 16 ounce containers of, sweet, of sour cream for $1.96 each. And carrots, I got six cans of carrots and I ordered great value and they did not have them. So I got three Libby's and three Del Monte was the substitution and each one was 88 cents a can. I got a package of hot dog buns for a dollar and a package of hamburger buns for a dollar. Two packages of great value chips. I think those were $1.88 a package, but I forgot to write the price on. A head of cabbage was $3.08. And I believe that is the end of our haul. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.